James here with another big episode of Southern States Wrestling Legacy. Can you believe we are already into the month of November? This year has flown by. The holidays right around the corner. We're going to be talking about three big holiday events right here today on this program. We're going to talk about the 9th of November, Duffield, Virginia, Stickleyville Community Center. A great fundraiser and collecting toys for children in need of Scott County and Lee County coming up over there in Duffield. The 23rd of November, the big Thanksgiving turmoil at the Hazard High School in Hazard, Kentucky, Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. Our heavyweight champion, Lord Murphy Costigan, will be on later talking about that event. And then our big event, the 33rd anniversary of the Thanksgiving extravaganza, Saturday night, November 30th, right there in Mount Carmel, Tennessee at the Armed Forces Reserve Center, 399 Highway 11W. It's going to be a big night. We will be collecting non-perishable food items and new unwrapped toys there for families in need through Hunger First here in the Tri-Cities region. Always a great time. Always thankful to be able to help out those in need in our community. We're looking past the holidays. We're looking at young men and women that will be coming here to compete in the new year. Some of them making returns, some of them getting here for the first time. One of them making a return is Mike Mann. Let's take a look at Mike right now. This contest is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 190 pounds, Nate Diamond. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in tonight at 215 pounds, Mike the And this is Jonathan Darwin saying thank you for tuning in to World Fighting Showcase Showdown, wherever you are, colorable tie up here. And Mike the Man getting the best of the exchange right there with the side headlock on the big Floridian, Nate Diamond. Mike taking down Diamond here. Going for that speed and fantastic hip toss by Nate Diamond. Nate continuing to work on that left arm. And Mann reverses there. Mann making his singles debut after his uh, departure last week during the tag match and leaving Abel Graves to fend for himself. And now we see Diamond with the side headlock. Diamond, an experienced singles competitor here in World Fighting Showcase. And a shoulder tackle takes Mann down. This is where the experience of someone like Diamond pays off. He's just going to stay on top. If you look, he's doing damage to that shoulder, that bicep area, that elbow, all the way up. He's trying to take the left arm of Man right out of commission. But Man with a big hook and an uppercut. As he moves Diamond into the corner and with some speed by Diamond there. And another arm drag takes Man down. And now, if you notice, Diamond is going to work on that arm, putting that submission arm bar in, where he just dropped the knee a few seconds ago. Very wise by Diamond. And very quick by Man with the eye rake going to the outside and just jaw jacking with Diamond trying to get it. And it looks like Man paid for that verbal exchange with Diamond here. And look at the wrist lock now applied by Diamond. Man. Moving Diamond off the ropes here. And some big knees takes Diamond over. Mike Mann, it'll be interesting to see if he pushes his amateur background here. He is an accomplished amateur wrestler as well as an accomplished rugby player. For those who have never seen rugby before, it's some sort of variation on football with a lot of different rules. Press the shoulders there and two count only. I think Mann needs to do more here to Diamond if he's going to go home with the winner's share of the purse here today. And now getting the submission applied on Diamond's right arm. And the referee in there to check very quickly. And uh, look at the way that the neck is being extended there. Those vertebrae, the compression on the discs up near the top of the head and the neck. 
and a clubbing form straight to the shoulder blades. And look at the way that man is. Uh oh. I thought Diamond was going to get off it. He's got the legs. Can he roll him over? Diamond's trying, but now look at the way man hits him with the body scissors. Going for the pin there, too. Man trying to cut off that oxygen really quick. Continues to take Diamond up and working on that left arm now with a wrist lock. And Diamond, he does break free and goes back to work on the left arm from earlier. And he's pushing extra pressure on that shoulder blade. Diamond whipping the Mike the man off the ropes and a clothesline takes down Mike. And a second one for his efforts as Diamond gets ready and whoa, inside Crater going for that pin. But it's a two count only. Give it to Diamond. He stays right on top, top of his opponents. Man reversing. Look at the speed of Diamond as he goes around. And wait a minute. There's that amateur wrestling background. We've seen the suplex there by Man too. And that's all she wrote. Here's man. your winner, Mike the Man. Southern States Wrestling presents the 33rd annual Thanksgiving Extravaganza, Saturday, November the 30th at the Armed Forces Center, 399 Highway 11W, Mount Carmel, Tennessee. It's going to be a great night of pro wrestling. We will also be collecting food and toys for Hunger First to help those in our community who need a hand up for the holidays. In the main event, Lord Murphy Costigan must defend both the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight and Legacy titles against Wild Bill and Travis Lee. Don't miss this opportunity to see some great wrestling action and to help the community. Make your plans and be there. Hello, I'm Ken Dapper and our Dalton Direct Carpets. Thank you, our loyal customers, for keeping us in business for over 46 years. We couldn't do it without your support. We offer affordable prices on all of our carpet, waterproof flooring, vinyl, and wood flooring. We're featuring heavy plush carpet on sale at $1.69 per square foot, and I have 24 colors in stock for immediate installation. Please come by during our sale and let our salespeople assist you on getting the right floor in the right room at the right price. That's Dr. Direct Carpets, Kingsport. Wrestling fans, check out Outlaws to Independence, a new monthly podcast covering the wild and crazy world of outlaw independent pro wrestling from the 1940s through the 1990s. It's hosted by handsome Bo James, the king of Kingsport, and John Bouchier. Outlaws to Independence is available on Spotify, Podcast Index, and Amazon Music. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram to find out when new episodes are dropping and much, much more. It's Outlaws to Independence, the stories of the pioneers of independent wrestling. November the 23rd, Hazard, Kentucky, War Games. Seems I have myself some unfinished business. That unfinished business is you, Chris Michaels. I've been in the ring with you once before, and you got lucky. You had that Clype referee on your side. Well, now it's going to even up. For now, we're putting my most prized possession on the line, the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight title, the title that I have held three times. And Chris Michaels, if you think that you're going to take this title off of me, then you lie or off your trolley. I'm going to get my point across. I'm going to show you no longer have a place in Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. I'm going to show you what happens when you cross the Royal Rogue. I'm going to show you what happens when you step in the ring with the sophisticated scoundrel. I'm going to teach you the wrestling lesson of a lifetime when you step toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bruiser from Glasgow, Lord Murphy Costigan. And I'm going to hook and stretch you, leather and bosh you, and put you right out to pasture. Okay. It's a title, not a mirror. I can see myself. They say possession is nine-tenths of the law. You can say we stole these. It doesn't matter. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. The board of directors have tried to take these from us. The referees have tried to take these from us. Bo and Wayne tried to keep us from even getting our hands on them. But you know what? These are our tag titles, and I think they're going to stay right here around our waists for the foreseeable future. And there's nothing anybody at Southern States Wrestling can do about it. Stand up for the champions. Stand up. 
Well, you heard from three very confident men right there. First, the heavyweight champion of Southern States Wrestling, Lord Murphy Costigan, also the legacy champion. And he's talking about his big title defense coming up in Hazard, Kentucky. But before you get to Hazard, Murphy, you have to get through Stickleyville, Virginia. And you have to get through this program right here because you will be defending that belt on this program in just a couple of weeks. And I hope you're ready. Oh, you can't be because I've not told you who your opponent is yet. Good luck with that one. Then we heard from Jeff Baker and Jeff Conley, and you saw them holding the Southern States Wrestling Tag Team titles. They did not win those titles. They stole those titles. They grabbed them right off of the announcer's desk and ran away with them when the match to crown the new champions was thrown out. We're going to be talking about that next week right here on this program as Miss Serenity wants to talk about the tag team titles for some reason. We're going to be talking about the extravaganza, the Thanksgiving extravaganza coming up where we're going to make sure we crown new champions. That's Saturday, November 30th in Mount Carmel, Tennessee. Big things happening. Lots of people getting here in Southern States Wrestling and a young man that's going to be making his debut, we're going to tell you about when we come back from this quick and fast commercial break. Hi, I'm Ken Daffron, owner of Dalton Direct Carpets in Kingsport, Tennessee. Hello, I'm Ken Daffron, owner of Dalton Direct Carpets, starting our 21st year. Hello, I'm Ken Daffron, owner of Dalton Direct Carpets. Hello, I'm Ken Daffron, owner of Dalton Direct Carpets. Please come by and help us celebrate our 40th anniversary. Hello, I'm Ken Daffron, owner of Dalton Direct Carpets. I've changed a lot over 46 years. Who hasn't? Dalton Direct Carpets hasn't changed. During our sale going on now, we have the best prices on carpet, waterproof flooring, vinyl, and wood flooring in the Tri-Cities area. That's Dalton Direct Carpets in Kingsport. In professional wrestling, legends aren't born. They're created. If you want to see how legends are created, every bump, every bruise, every tear, every drop of sweat. You've come to the right place. Southern States Wrestling presents the 33rd Annual Thanksgiving Extravaganza, Saturday, November the 30th at the Armed Forces Center, 399 Highway 11W, Mount Carmel, Tennessee. It's going to be a great night of pro wrestling. We will also be collecting food and toys for Hunger First to help those in our community who need a hand up for the holidays. In the main event, Lord Murphy Costigan must defend both the Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight and Legacy titles against Wild Bill and Travis Lee. Don't miss this opportunity to see some great wrestling action and to help the community. Make your plans and be there! Yes, it should. Chase Emery. Well, this guy spent some time in the gym, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Good looking young man, good wrestler. Very, very. Very good, very looking wrestler. G Man, did I tell you the time I bought a car from Mikey Motors? No, let's hear this story. JR, I bought a car off this guy for $300, right? Wow. So I'm going down, I get in the car and I'm going down the road and everything's going good. What happens? Engine light comes on. I get out, I pop the hood, I look in there and it's spewing some kind of sawdust out of the... <laughs> I, I said, what is going on here? So look, I get it calmed down and everything's going all right there and I get back in it and I fire it back up and we're going down the road. And the whole front end on the thing starts shimmying and a shaking. Oh, no. You know no. what I had to do? What? I left $300 worth of junk on the side of the road and walked home. <laughs> Probably the best thing you could have done there. You got, yeah. home, you got home faster, you mean. <laughs> he ripped me off. That's all I'm going to say oh, about Mikey Motors. What about that now? Yeah. yeah, I listened to him. He talked me slick into buying that piece of junk. Oh, yeah. So, G-Man, I'm giving you a warning. If he comes up here later on wanting to sell you a car, do not do it. Don't buy it. He's already hit me up to come visit him. What? Oh, yes. Oh, G-Man. Did he tell you he had a Volkswagen Beetle? 
He sure did. 1942 model. Yep. 42. Was the engine in the rear or the front? The rear. It was in the front when I saw it, T Man. <laughs> what is going on here? My God. Good. Good. Uh oh. Here we go. Bell time, boys. Off and running. Mm. Takes Emery's arm, puts him in a ringer. Oh. Big Lord. reversal. Oh. Calling timeout, JR. He knows where the back door is. Get him back, ref. <laughs> what about that, G-Man? Mikey Motors oh, never ceases to amaze me. Oh, sneaky snake. Yeah, he. nobody can finance me but Mikey, and he sold me a 10 speed out back with a chain off of it. What? Yeah, $10 a month for life. <laughs> well, I feel good on my $300 loss, yeah. Sid. Yeah. He's in the ropes. The referee's going to call for the break. Well, you think Mikey's hurt. Well. What's he trying to do, sell cars or win a match? Well, he's saying he pulled his tights. He's saying Chase Emery pulled his tights, but I didn't see it. I didn't see that. The referee didn't see it, and all these fans at ringside are saying we didn't see it. Yeah. Here we go. Go. Oh. Another tie-up. Mikey Motors takes him to the buckle. See what he's got in store here. Oh, shoulder. Right to the midsection. Arm ringer. Shoots him in. Uh oh, up and over, JR. Beautiful. Mm. What a standing drop kick by Chase Emery. Ooh, oh. deep arm drag. Wow, he cradled him as he caught that. He managed to hang on there and stay close to the inside. Mikey Motors gets a rope break out of it. He's going to break the rope all right if he keeps hanging on to it. It's time for him to regroup, I'm afraid, already in the match. Oh, he said he pulled his hair, JR. Oh, what? Oh. I don't think he's got three hairs on his head. I was going to say one, two, or three. <laughs> what about it, G Man? What uh -huh. do you see down there? I don't see anything but a big shiny spot. Yeah. Looks like he waxed that head up before he come to the show tonight. Referee's saying, no, I didn't oh, see that. Out. I assume that was Chase Emery's fault, him tripping over the rope. Yep. Oh, he's intimidated. He's intimidated by Chase Emery. Uh-oh. This may not be the smart thing to do at this time. I don't think that's too smart coming from Mikey. You better get back on the phone and call his mama. Oh. Uh oh. The fans have made him plumb mad now. Oh, oh he's wanting to fight. Oh, oh, he wanting oh. to fight, JR. Oh, watch out. Oh, my. Oh, oh, poked him right in the eye. Oh, cheap shot to the eye. He's opened up now. Yeah, he's opened up with straight right hands. Yes. Shoots Emery off, goes for a backdrop. Emery, nice sunset flip. Is he going to get him, JR? Uh, there's a lot of weight Watch there. Out. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Man. He laid in that firing fist. Yes, he man, sure that, did. That had to take a lot out of Chase. What's he got on him now, JR? 
Well, he's working. He's working that face lock. Look at him. He's got him. He's got him down where the referee's even saying, "Hey, do you want to give up?" Mikey Motors got my advantage blocked here. I can't yeah. see what he's got on him. Yeah. Oh, Emory shoots an elbow in him. I can see that too. He left him open for that into the ropes. Back off. Another oh, sunset flip. He's going to get him this time. Sunset That's flip. That's a lot of weight to turn. Oh! <laughs> Emory got out of the way of that oh. one. Oh! Get me once, but not twice. He says, "Look out!" Don't rush that corner. Watch out. Be careful here. That's what I was talking about. Mm. Mikey Motors is not as dumb as he acts. True, very true. He is. Look at him. That was a smart move. I'll give him that. Yeah. He better quit talking to the crowd, trying to sell him a car and get to business. You've got to be careful. You don't want to follow this guy into a corner. Look out, snap beer. Telling the fans to be quiet, JR. Yeah, he's got to concentrate on Oh. It. That nerve hole. Right on that trapezius, ain't yes. it? Yes. Yes, I've seen him, I've seen him use this several times before. And it's just agony for his opponent. I'm telling you, this thing. Fans getting behind Chase, trying to fire him up. Let's see what he does here. He needs that at this time. Elbow. Another elbow into the ropes. Another sunset flip. Oh, he got him that oh. time. One, two, kick out. Two count. Boy, that was close. Oh, big clothesline. Yes. Another clothesline. Emory's fired up now, boys. He is on the wagon. Look out, a reversal. Wow. What a shoulder block from Emory. Beautiful. I did not expect that. What about that, G Man? That was great. Take him uh, for the ride. He's going up. Oh, oh. no. Spinning. Neckbreaker dropped him. One, two, right. three. He got him. He got it. Man, I'll tell you what a matchup it was. Once that momentum came in, he went on with the finish. Tucked his man all the way home. He's got him. He got him. Yeah. I guess Mikey's going to have to go home and sell that 1948 Beetle. I guess he is. Big win there for Chase Emery right here next time on this program. I will be speaking with Chase Emery about his plans here in Southern States Wrestling. Miss Serenity has asked for time next week. Austin Lane takes on Jordan Hazard right here on the next program. And in a big TV main event, Trey Chaos will be in action against Logan Grove. This is Logan's first TV main event against an experienced wrestler. We saw him when he graduated the Jacobs Prister Wrestling Academy. Now he has an opportunity to wrestle a veteran right here next time on this program. Don't forget, Saturday night, November 9th, Stickleyville Community Center, Duffield, Virginia. Bring an unwrapped toy for a boy or girl in need there in the hills of Virginia. We hope to see you ringside until that, and next week we will see you right here. God bless each and every one of you.